Hey everyone, it's Rihanna and welcome back to another video. So I am finally gonna do my review on Stranger Things season two. Now, I was a huge fan of season one. I absolutely loved it. I've seen it so many times at this point. It's not even funny. So of course I was excited for season two, so let's get straight into it. Just a fair warning, there will be some spoilers in this review. So if you haven't watched all of season two of Stranger Things, you should probably go do that and then come back. So Stranger Things season two takes place one year after the events of season one in 1984, Hawkins, Indiana. We follow the four main characters, the best friends, which are Will, Mike, Dustin, and Lucas, as they carry on with their lives after the dramatic events of season one, where Eleven saved them from the Demogorgon and Will got rescued from the Upside Down. The whole plot of season two is that there is a new monster on the prowl. The Demogorgon is gone and now we are introduced to this bigger, badder monster that is looming over Hawkins, Indiana. It's affecting all of the crops and it has dug this giant tunnel underneath the streets of Hawkins in order to overtake the town. It's very much about Will's journey and how the Upside Down has affected him mentally and physically and also psychologically because he has this constant feeling of being watched and feeling like he is still somehow stuck in the Upside Down. And of course we have the mystery of Eleven's whereabouts and what happened with her and Jim Hopper after the events of season one. As well as following the characters we all know and love from season one, season two actually brings in some new characters, including Sadie Sink's Max, or as the boys like to call her, Mad Max, Darcy Montgomery's Billy, who is the new bully in town, and Bob, who is played by Sean Austin, a hobbit himself. I give huge props to the Duffer Brothers for bringing in new characters in season two because as much as I love the characters from season one, things needed to be mixed up a little bit more and I really like the addition of both Bob and Mad Max. I can't say the same for Billy because I really hate him as a character. I didn't really see his point in the series. I understand him as a character that he kind of needed to be there to give background to Max's character, but he was just so very, very dislikable. <laughs> like, we all kind of hated Steve in season one, and now we all praise Steve and hate Billy. I'm really impressed that the new characters didn't take any of the spotlight away from the original characters in season one, particularly the fact that we now get to see Will as a character in season two. Noah Schnepp, who plays Will, gives an incredible performance as this scared, vulnerable little boy who doesn't know what to feel and doesn't know what is happening to him. He gives such a vulnerable performance and he's only about 13 years old. Like, how? And I love what they did with Will's character, the way his mind was connected to the monster's mind. I thought it was really effective and great writing. Winona Ryder also gives a fantastic performance as well as David Harbour and the rest of the gang. I particularly love Dustin this season, although I loved him last season as well. And Joe Keery as Steve Harrington, who has a much bigger role in season two. Him and Dustin's bromance was something I didn't know I needed but now I have, and I'm so very thankful. And Millie Bobby Brown, as always, gives a great performance as Eleven, this child with telekinetic powers. We really get to see her more as a character in season two, get to know more of her background, which was really, really cool. There are hints about Eleven's background in season one, but we definitely dive into them more in season two. And I, for the most part, really like the route they went with her character. Episode seven, The Lost Sister, wasn't my favourite episode, it was probably my least favourite episode at that. These are some spoilers. In the beginning of season one we see this character drive about recklessly with her gang and she uses her powers to distract the police as she commits crimes and this is the character of Eight, also known as Carly. Now episode seven is called The Lost Sister, it's based around Eleven and Carly's relationship and how they come together as a unit and that episode, to me, felt like it could have been told throughout the season because the episode felt maybe like a wasted episode. I really didn't like the way they went with Eleven's character in the episode and I feel like Carly was kind of wasted as a character as well. I understand her point as a character, but I didn't like the way she roped Eleven into it. I feel like Eleven made a very good choice going back to save her friends. As always, the musical score and soundtrack here is great. I love the synth score in season two. I just love the feeling it gives, this retro 80s feel, and the 80s soundtrack is great in this season. I absolutely loved it, the way they used it at the snowball, which was a particularly great scene at the end of the season. <laughs> I think the only thing I didn't like about season two of Stranger Things, but obviously the Lost Sister episode, Billy as a character, 
and some filler that was happening in the beginning of the season. Obviously we have to get back into the story and back into the swing of things but it feels like they stretched out a few storylines longer than they needed to be. I stand by the fact that Stranger Things season two is better than Stranger Things season one. I do need to rewatch it a couple of times to have a full love for it but the way the Duffer brothers have taken this story is to a whole new level. The characters are better and have great development, the synth score and soundtrack are great, and the storytelling this season is phenomenal. Just plain phenomenal. I don't know where they're going with season three of Stranger Things, but you can guarantee that I will be binge watching it the second it comes on Netflix. I started season two in the morning and finished it the day after because sadly I need sleep for some reason. I don't know who thought that but apparently I do. And all I can say, if you haven't watched Stranger Things yet, you really need to get on board with it. It's sci-fi, it's a little bit horror, it's 80s homage, and I absolutely love it. I love, love, loved Stranger Things season two, and you better check it out. So if you've seen Stranger Things season two, let me know what you thought of it down below in the comments, and did you think it was better or worse than the first season? And if you liked this review, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting on lots more videos very, very soon. All my social media links, including my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Letterboxd will be down below in the description, so come follow me. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye.